Hey guys, I'm Miguel, and today I'm going to show you the best way to learn and practice sight reading on classical guitar. But first, let's talk about why sight reading is difficult, and also what are the benefits of practicing sight reading. The reasons sight reading is so challenging for a guitarist are many. The guitar is fully polyphonic, unlike brass and woodwind instruments, so it's necessary to read multiple notes at the same time. Unlike other polyphonic instruments, keyboard, harp, etc., a single note can be found in multiple locations on the fingerboard, and the player has to make an instant decision about where to play it. Because that decision may be influenced by the other notes in the phrase or fingering instructions provided by the composer or arranger, these decisions take time and don't allow simultaneous playing. Unlike most musicians, the guitarist cannot rely on muscle memory. When discussing sight reading, the assumption is that we're talking about standard notation. However, a working guitarist may need to read tablature and jazz charts as well. While most musicians only need to learn one form of notation, the guitarist may need to read three or more. Sight reading is a skill that needs to be practiced like any other. This is not something most guitarists do on their own, and is not something that is heavily taught. Guitarists simply are not part of that culture. With some exceptions, of course. Sight reading is a very useful skill to develop because it makes learning new pieces easier, and it's essential for impromptu ensemble playing. If you want to become a great sight reader, this book is all you need. It teaches all the notes on the fretboard in second, third, fourth, fifth, seventh, and ninth positions. To begin this book, you should already know all the notes in first position, including all natural notes, sharps, and flats. For example, the book starts out teaching all the notes in second position. Then, it teaches the scale. Then, an etude in that particular key. and then a song. There are also simple duets that you can play with a buddy. Then, it repeats this cycle in various keys before moving to the next position.
try to feel an internal pulse when you're practicing sight reading. Another possibility that you can do is to set a metronome at a comfortable speed. I have mine set for 60 beats per minute. Start playing, don't look back. If you make a mistake, so what? Just keep going, don't worry, move on. After you've mastered the scale, play through each song two or three times at most. After that, you're no longer sight reading. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and hit the bell to receive notifications. And if you feel that you've learned something, consider buying me a cup of coffee. Thank you.